Okay, today I'm going to run through the process of using the snipping tool to capture an image, say from a PDF file, saving it as a JPEG so that then you can upload it into Design Space to use as a cut file. So here I have um, my screen up and in the bottom you have this Cortana search box. If you type in snipping tool, you will see it pops right up. And so if I go to this, I can right click on it and I can actually pin it to my taskbar, which it is already pinned to it. So that doesn't show as an option, but it will actually show here in this location. And I leave it pinned to the taskbar because I use it a lot, but I'm just gonna go ahead and open it and when I do that, this is how it comes up on the screen. So the next thing I want to do is to open this PDF file that I have downloaded um, onto the computer. And here is the first image in this PDF. So again, I'm going to go back to the snipping tool in the tray at the bottom. And I'm going to click on it and it brings up this little uh, box. I'm going to click New. And you'll see that the, the screen kind of grays down. You're going to take your mouse and you're going to draw a bounding box around the image that you want. And then when you let up on your mouse, it's going to come up with a screen like this. Now you're going to go to File and you're going to click Save As and then it allows you to go ahead and save the image give it a name and save it to whatever location you would like. I already have this image um, saved, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to minimize the snipping tool and then I'm going to scroll to my second image and process again. Open the snipping tool, click new. Here's my little box. My screen is grayed. I can just drag a bounding box around it and that creates my snip. Then from there, again, I can go to File, Save As, and it will save it to a file on my computer. From there, I'm going to go ahead and go to my design space, and I'm going to click on Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and I'm going to go to where I have it saved on my computer and click on Open. So now we have this design on our upload image screen. It is a basic, simple, clear to read um, image. So I'm just going to click on simple and continue. And now I'm going to use the select and erase tool to remove the background, the portion that we don't want to cut. So I'm going to click on that. And as you see, it removes all of the background and it leaves me with just the image I want. Now I can click preview and it will show me exactly what I'm going to end up with. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to give it a name. It already has the name I had saved it on previously. I'm going to click on save as a cut image and then I'm going to save it. Now this is a three image um, set. So I'm going to do the same process with the other two images. I have it here, hit simple, continue. I'm gonna click in the background to remove that background, continue, save as a cut image. And then one more time for the third image in this set. Simple, continue, remove the background, continue. Save it as a cut image, save. Then I'm going to click on all three images and click on insert. And this brings them all into my um, design space canvas. Now, if I wanted to resize these, I'm going to again draw a bounding box and resize this way. They're going to keep their proportion one to the others. So I hope that helps. You now are able to go ahead and change your colors. So we can make this light pink. We'll make the um, back image a little bit darker. So we're going to go to advanced and we're going to move it to the darker range, same color. 
and then we'll make the um, top that darker color as well and there we are and if I want I can take this and I can rotate this 90 degrees so that it is more upright for me so I hope that helps if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know